and along the way counterfeits will spot you out they will sniff god's glory on you they will you know who is that girl she's ambitious she's consistent da, 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 da. hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is sarah oloba if this is your first time tuning in go ahead and like and subscribe down below let me know if you guys like the more chill vibe or if you like the professional setup um i'm really just i'm just playing around with the things right now and trying to see what the people like and what i like too i like the i like the vibe i like the chill vibe but hey i'm just testing things out for right now but anyways i wanted to come on here and talk about how to navigate counterfeits how do you know how do you spot a counterfeit how do you know if someone or a friend or someone that's interested in you is a counterfeit and what a counterfeit is is what it is it's a counterfeit it's not they're not who they say they are they're not who they appear right um he's saying that he a man of god but on day one of y'all talking he talking about what your nipples look like he asking you for pics no sir you are sent from the enemy the devil sent you <laughs> um these are you know things that you can look out for in regards to friendships and potential suitors that come your way to talk to you right and uh am i single season right we're going on where we were in year four right of intentionally trying to better myself heal i'm in my purpose now i'm doing the dang thing you are doing the dang thing too sis whatever it is you know um in this single season like we talked we've talked previously it's about us being in our purpose doing what god told us to do whether it's starting that business or going back to school or um being a content creator do something whatever it, you want to bake you better bake i don't know what it is whatever whatever the lord told you to do do that right and as you are intentionally seeking the lord intentionally in your purpose you know we desire marriage i don't know about y'all but i want to get married i want my four babies maybe five <laughs> we'll see i i don't know five's a lot maybe four i'm thinking three and then like number four is after like me and bae we had a margarita or two <laughs> anyways um what was i saying yeah so as you're working on yourself and you are <laughs> as you're working on yourself and you know you're, you're intentional i think for me i got to that place where i'm just like lord i'm not picking nobody you gonna pick my man for me because i don't know what i'm doing i don't i'm i'm tired of the be together for two years break up be together for two years i don't know about y'all but i'm it makes me sick i'm like lord the next man that you bring to me that you confirm to me is my husband we are going to be together till we are old okay old and wrinkly that is the goal and happy happy number one priority I'm happy and um in the waiting season right as you're waiting on god and you're in your purpose um you know we're human we you know we get lonely especially that time of the month hormones all of that you know you just you know we we tend to you know god when how long how long this is psalm 13 david asked right when he was in the middle of the wilderness pull up your bible pull up psalm 13 david says how long god how much longer shall i wait right my enemies they're making fun of me they're talking about me all of this but he but david says but i still trust you i don't know when you're doing it i i don't understand your timing i don't understand your ways lord i don't understand what you're doing in the background but i trust you and that's that's the heart posture that i have um in regards to um everything that's happening in my life in regards to um my person um and god's timing please don't take too long jesus please i'm just saying <laughs> just intentionally intentionally seeking the lord in this season and um bettering myself and along the way counterfeits will spot you out they will sniff god's glory on you they will you know who is that girl she's ambitious she's consistent da, 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 da. and counterfeits right men who look like the real thing who say that they're a man of god but they really aren't a man of god they they say these things they hype themselves up and they really aren't who they say they are okay they'll be sliding in your dms you know talking to you emailing you trying to get to you and they're not who 
at first you don't know this at first it's like oh my god this is this is a great potential suitor let me give him a chance but lies they lie they're not who they say they are hey guys i just want to come on here and tell you guys about my membership called the esther project if you are a christian woman looking for community i keep it 100 percent real we'll talk about so many discussions we have daily devotionals we have entrepreneur classes we have experts that are coming in monthly so many things that you guys will need especially as you are transitioning to be that proverbs 31 woman we need to be around like-minded women so check out the esther project you can click the link in the bio to check it out i also have ebooks available from my faith walk ebook to uh my free ebook actually called the, the fasting the ultimate fasting guide if you're trying to strengthen your relationship with christ check out my ebooks we do one-on-one -on -one courses one-on-one -on -one coaching so many things that we offer so click the link down below and just check out my website which is saraholoba.com and i'll see you guys next time the number one way that you'll know if someone is a counterfeit is you will have no peace you guys will be arguing a lot you guys will be you won't just you just won't see eye to eye it's like you you guys have only been talking for a week and it feels like you've known them for 21 years and you have five kids with them that, that's how it'll feel you're in an unhappy marriage and this is only day seven let go let them go i was talking to someone like that and i was like hey, hey, this is not from god this is not from god <laughs> Number two sign is red flags. Pay attention to the red flags, especially if you're in tune with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will always reveal to you the truth. They can lie all you they want, but the Holy Spirit will always tell you the truth. I remember I was talking to this one guy and he was acting really funny. Like we would be on the phone and he would hang up in the middle of our sentence, like in the middle of us talking. And the Holy Spirit told me he's talking to multiple women. And I was like, you know what let me ask him and i asked him like were you just on the phone with somebody and he was like no he kept lying about it no 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 i'm not da, da, da. and i was like no you were on the phone with somebody tell me the truth and he was like yeah i was but it's not even that big of the deal you're overreacting but well he was gaslighting me i said yeah this is not from god this is this ain't it they said it and that person had narcissistic tendencies i was like oh my gosh like I'm, I'm telling you this is an issue and you want to flip the squid. I don't like that. I do not like that. Red flag, you're gone. Um, and the Holy Spirit will always reveal the truth. You know, you'll, the Holy Spirit will give you dreams, will give you visions, will give you warnings about certain people. I remember when I was, you know, when I was dating, I was dating when I wasn't supposed to be dating. Learn from my mistakes. I was dating when I wasn't supposed to be dating and God would give me dreams and visions about each partner each person that i was on a date with like he would give me a download of what my life would look like with this person like okay this person he has no ambition in his life he's very stagnant he won't be able to handle your capacity or this man yes he has money but you won't love him or this man right here you're wasting your time like god would give me those downloads and if i was desperate for love if i was desperate for marriage i would have just been in another useless relationship another useless you know it, it, what's the point so when counterfeits come your way, we got to have the strength to leave it and be obedient to the Holy Spirit. Because if you decide to settle for the counterfeit, you forfeit your blessing. You forfeit who, the, who God really had for you. The man of God that God really had for you. The woman of God that God really had for you. And, you know, I'm a big journaler. So I journal down all my thoughts, all my prayers, all these things. And I'm just like, Lord, there's a couple of things that you told me, right? Some of you guys um we have promises we have things that the lord has told us and sometimes we get discouraged by the way right we get discouraged i know i do sometimes i do for sure but then i'm like lord am i crazy but then it's like lord if i was crazy then nashville would have never happened you know what i'm saying like there's certain things in my life that literally was a one percent chance and god brought it to pass so I, i'm just being faithful to what he's told me I, i'm just jotting down everything he's told me i'm reminding god of my promises and i'm just waiting for the appointed time so then i could come back here and be like hey you guys what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> at the appointed time i'd be like listen my god is a good god you gotta know like it'll come with peace a relationship from god will have peace you'll have confirmation They'll just be in alignment that you just feel like this is my best friend. Like this is the person that understands me. They get me. They 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 are cautious of 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 my feelings. They respect me. He'll make you feel secure. Security is a big thing. I want to be able to feel secure. I don't want to have to question anything. And if I ask you a question for you to just answer immediately, you need a you know. And it's like if if you're entertaining somebody and you know that you know it's not that person, leave them alone. 
leave them alone it's not even worth it i'm telling you right now listen i, I had to learn things the hard way um and i'm just like you know what god I, i'm just gonna wait i don't understand your ways we don't understand your ways i don't understand how prophetic somebody is or how much they know the lord there's some things that we're just like lord i don't know but i trust you i trust you and i love you anyways i hope that this was helpful for you guys i love y'all so much and i'll see you guys next time bye